The Engineering Council of South Africa is a statutory body with the primary role of regulating the engineering profession. It achieves this by standardizing the ways of measuring competencies for professional registration as well as for tertiary qualifications. Exa President Mashao Lawrence Labia explains the structures that have been put in place to achieve this. I would say we have made great strides in uh, becoming an effective regulator. We have put in place structures and frameworks to guide the operations of the engineering practice and we are the only African country uh, with full membership of the International Engineering Alliance, the IEA. So our standards compare well with the world's best. The IEA actually governs the recognition of the engineering education qualification and also professional competence. Lobia notes that the Act calls for the identification of the type of engineering work that must be performed by engineering practitioners. Therefore, the identification of engineering work plays a major role in expanding EXA's legislative mandate of regulating the profession. We believe that uh, with the identification of engineering work, we'll be able to protect the public, uh, we'll protect the profession itself and the registered persons. So the implementation of the identification of engineering work will not only afford EXA the opportunity to govern the engineering profession effectively, but it will also afford the registered persons the opportunity to benefit from a well and effectively regulated engineering environment. Regarding transformation in the industry, Libya explains that this is a process, but he believes that it will ensure maximum efficiency in the delivery of EXA's mandates. The current EXA Council has shown improvement, especially with the number of women in Council. Uh, we currently have 49% of Council members are women. We've got 47, yeah, 47 Council members, 23 of them are women. And our current vice president is also a woman, Ms. Refilio Butelez. It's a pity that uh, up to now, this industry is still profiled as a white male dominated industry. But as I've said, I think we are doing our best to make sure that we transform the industry. And um, in recent years, the number of new registrations has increased and uh, we believe this is mainly because of the professional gender and race transformation. Libya proudly declares that the EXA Council has embraced the digital transformation opportunity that's been afforded to them and to this end the administration has completed the process of having the first online accreditation policy adopted by Council. The, the new Council it's really uh, ready, we are ready to make sure that we become an uh, effective regulator. There are, as I've already mentioned, there are a number of programs that we are going to, to implement. And uh, the only problem at the moment, you know, is the COVID-19. It makes things a bit difficult and uh, we have never met as a new council, for example. We conduct our meetings virtually and so on. But that has not dampened the spirit of the members. And I think there is a lot of commitment from members to make sure that uh, we deliver on our mandate. The implementation of a five-year strategy entailing key programs, the transformation of the industry and the identification of engineering work will ensure that EXA is an effective regulator in assuring engineering excellence.